Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Tom Barron of Bristol. Well, welcome back. We are on day four of our journey together, and we're we're discussing the topic of being the church, and we're looking at our devotion, the different devotions we have as we look at Acts 2, 42 through 47. I am Pastor Tom Barron. I am from Grace Baptist Church in Bristol, and it is a pleasure to be here. Let's read Acts 2, 42 through 47. They were continually devoting themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. Everyone kept feeling a sense of awe, and many wonders and signs were taking place through the apostles. And all those who had believed were together and had all things in common. And they began selling their property and possessions, and were sharing them with all, as anyone might have need. Day by day, continuing with one mind in the temple, and breaking bread from house to house, They were taking their meals together with gladness and sincerity of heart, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord was adding to their number day by day those who were being saved. Now, in this fourth day together, you probably have seen the the routine we're in, and I'm going to ask you the question, what is the purpose of the church? The purpose of the church is to bring God glory. And again, we look at Paul as he wrote to the church at Ephesus in Ephesians 3.21, to him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. Bringing glory to the church, bringing glory to God as we are the church, being the church. And today it's about a devotion to prayer. This is about a community of believers who are at prayer, a group of people not really necessarily praying about their work and their personal feelings, but actively submitting themselves to God's will for God's glory. And I think as we look in the Gospel of John, we see this call to us in John 14, verses 13 and 14. Whatever you ask in my name, that will I do so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. As we are being the church, are we seeking all that Jesus wants from us, for us, and for his church, which is meant to bring glory to God? Are we actively in prayer for God's will in our churches? And you might say, well, no, a lot of times I pray for different things. I pray that the church might play more music that I like. Well, I don't know that this is what God's word calls us when we're talking about being devoted to prayer. As we look there in Acts, They're devoted to prayer. You know, I think we always have to be challenged. How important is prayer for us as a church? Many of us have great personal prayer lives, but how is a community coming together, being the church, playing out in our lives? You know, I often think of Charles Spurgeon. There was something called the downgrade controversy. And Charles Spurgeon, it bothered him that Churches could have an entertainment or a movie night. More people would come out for that from the church than would come out for a night of prayer. Be challenged by that. How are the prayer nights that take place in our church? Be challenged. Now, how is your attendance at the prayer nights in your church? Are you praying for the glory of God as we attempt to be the church? Be challenged, but continue to be the church. Lord, we love you and praise you. We give you all the glory. Thank you for challenging us. Thank you for your word. We love you and praise you. And Jesus, in your name we pray. Amen. You've been listening to Pastor Tom Barron of Bristol, and this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's word.